Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do uh, your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Keep in mind, the new moon is upon us. The new moon is March 2nd. You can contribute to the new moon money jar. If you wanna usher in abundance in your life, uh, make a contribution to the new moon money jar. The link is below. You can contribute any dollar amount. It's like a wishing well. Throw some money in the new moon money jar and see it return to you. Uh, what we will do is a big collective uh, ritual prayer on the new moon to bring in uh, abundance for us all. Okay, so let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you all right so what we're going to do in this reading we're going to talk about um what's coming for aquarius in the future near future for aquarius um you know we can talk about the past like all day you know we can talk about who was toxic who was not who did what who shot john but let's talk about some future energy let's see what aquarius is moving uh, into the energy that Aquarius is moving into. Let's see. It will resonate with you. It may not. Um, just keep coming back. Or, or you can find a reader that does resonate with you. So let's see what's going on for the Aquarius in the near future. All right. We've got a card flipping out. Occupation. So some of you may start your own work your own gig, your own business, or you have your own business, you'll be working hard at this. This is work that you love to do because a bit of you is in this work. You know, it's like your purpose, you know, your sole purpose. You'll be working very hard at it too. Um, but in the near future, occupation, you've got some work coming. What's coming for, you also may have a, a bit of, so it's like mastery also. I'm going to master what you are involved in. Like you can get to a level of um, doing some real high quality work. Okay. Um, let's see. What else is coming? Okay. Right. Marriage. You see it. Yep. So now this could be an actual marriage. Man and woman or woman and woman or man and man. Whatever. Okay. Um or this could be some of you could be married to your work. Um, also, this could just be marriage. Some of you are on the brink of marriage. This is what you've been manifesting. This is what you've been working so hard at in terms of working on yourself so that you are ready for marriage. You are the perfect partner. Um, some prayers in terms of a marriage partner. It's going to be answered for you, Aquarius. Things are just going to come in into in sync for you okay um, everything coming in at once um you're at a place of being ready for it you've done the work mastery it could even be self mastery let's see what is coming in for aquarius in the near future what is coming in for aquarius in the near future journey very nice so this card talks about uh, maybe a trip taking a trip it's going to be through a mode of tr uh, transportation that has wheels so it can be of course a train or it can be a bus a car some type of railway but taking a journey something is arriving in your life and, and something is departing so you're leaving something behind and then something else is arriving so you're taking a journey here in your life um, this is a happy card Let's see, what else, Aquarius? So you could be like on a new new trajectory, new destination. Um, the stars are aligning for you. The universe is lining everything up again. Everything in sync coming into you. Wow, pathway. Very nice. So some of you could be like going on a spiritual journey, um, really learning about yourself, really... Um, learning about yourself learning about cycles that you have been in what part you played in them just getting a, a true understanding of um 
you not everybody else or what someone did to you but you getting a true understanding of you therefore um you can have better outcomes and whatever you engage in it's like it's like rebirth or going into a phase of learning about you and then re-emerging as the butterfly you have butterflies on this card What's it like? so it looks like i'm talking to two sets of aquarius some of you are going to be on the journey of some of you are going to just be married to your work this is going to be new for you it's going to open up so many doors and you're you're going to be in a place of um maybe learning about you uh, working on you this new thing has arrived and it, it, it's going to take a lot of work yeah unexpected income coming out so money coming from all different ways all you know money coming from different um, modes of income also you might have different streams you know this is also unexpected message this is also give and take so money comes in and you give when you uh, see it necessary to do so and that's how you find balance and that's how money gets returned to you what's coming in for aquarius what general message what's coming in for aquarius a mature man so maybe you some of you are going to be the mature man or um if it's not you then it's a person um this is somebody who has a lot of life experience and they might want to share it with you. Um, this is somebody who might be in your life temporarily. They're not gonna. They're not here to stay. It's not. They're not offering anything. Like they're not offering marriage or. It's just maybe they're offering um, all this experience that they had. Yeah, message of concern. It's like, yeah. Um, something can kind of disrupt this relationship you can get some news or you can get news from this person that you know things are not turning out yeah imprisonment you can get an unexpected message from this mature man also and it you know the concern is um because whatever the message is it's not so good um or it kind of shakes you you didn't expect it it's like out of the blue whatever they say to you kind of puts you in a place of imprisonment um you got to think about this or you're thinking about this or what to do next what's the future energy for aquarius yeah it looks like you're going to come into a very privileged way of existing of being of living doing what you want um but it's not going to be without for some of you hard work especially if you are working independently like in, in occupation you might be a business owner who works in their business you are just not owning it but you actually work um something is hard work it is toil and labor or it was hard work getting to this place getting to financial stability living life on your terms that can also be read that way um somebody wants you to hear them out or you might need a third party to mediate something this could be a divorce or divorce proceedings that's what's coming to you in the near future let's talk about um soulmate in love all right so let's get some soulmate cards let's see what is coming towards the aquarius for love Okay, your life does not get better by chance, but it gets better by change. So there's something that you need to change within maybe some soulmate connection or relationship. Um, if you're just staying there and hoping that it will just, you know, change or this person will change. No, you have to be the change. Okay, let's see. Or, or vice versa. Maybe they're hoping you will change. And where does the power come? It comes from within. So some of you really... You need to snatch your power back. Nothing is going to change by you just staying still and doing nothing. Take your power back. Um, reclaim it. Own it. And then you'll see that um, you'll have the courage to make necessary decisions to move forward. Some of you just feel powerless. You feel like you've been at something for a very long time and it's just stuck or stagnant. Or it's not moving or it's not working. 
anytime you give your energy, your force to something over a certain period of time and it still doesn't change or doesn't move, then you begin to feel powerless because I've been hitting my, you know, head up against this wall or this, my hand up against this wall and nothing is happening. And that's how maybe some of you have felt in relationships. So um, that's when you feel powerless. And that's why they say, where does the power come from? It comes from within. You have given it all away by continuously staying in a situation that wasn't changing and it wasn't for your highest good. That's true. Um, adventure awaits. Go find it. Some of you, it came out reverse. None of these cards should be reversed. So maybe some of you are scared to take the leap of faith in a new direction. Some of you are stuck on time. I gave so much time to this person or this situation. So I'm, I'm afraid to walk away. What will I have if I just leave the situation and I'm giving so much time to it? Well, um, time is just time. Time make time makes lovers feel like they have something real when we all know they just got time. That's all it is, okay? Famous lines from a very famous song. So some of you are kind of afraid or fearful of walking away because of I've been with this person for so long or I was there for so long or I don't know. You know, or I've been in a relationship for so long or I was married for so long and that I was miserable and I don't know if I want to. Something about timing. OK, it says adventure awaits you. Go find it. Get out there. Put yourself out there. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't be stuck to something or someone because you put the time in or maybe you put time into a relationship, a marriage or situation that just wasn't or isn't right for you. Let's see. And now you're afraid, you know either to walk away or afraid to re-engage you know, yeah, re -engage in the dating pool or give somebody else your time. You're afraid. Um, you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. All right. So some of you are like wondering, when am I going to meet this person? That could be your timing issue too. Um, you're going to meet them when the time is right. So clearly the universe, God, spirit, angels, whatever you believe in, is saying that the time isn't right for some of you. Let's see. Um, harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement. So you need to be firstly in agreement with yourself and loving yourself. And then when you come together with another party, with another person, um, you can rest easy in that relationship. There will be harmony. You'll be in sync back to that word in sync. Um, will be pure love and, and you guys will your souls your your energy your vibe uh your um your wills will be in agreement it won't you won't clash you won't be at odds you know you won't be in a place of you wanting to be in a relationship and this person wanting to run the streets you won't you won't attract that energy you know but it's something about you first you got to get that in order let's see um, follow your heart's desire and manifest the heck out of your life. So for some of you, you got some energy where you just need to focus on you, career, finance, work, do that and, and work on you also internally. <clears throat> and then you will have the opportunity to have love when, when the time is right. Manifest your life first. Be a complete and whole individual in every single way. Um, Get some things accomplished before you are focused or before you are focusing on love. Okay. Let's see what career and finance have, has to say for you, Aquarius. Let's see, career. Career and finance for Aquarius. All right, let's see. Career finance for Aquarius. Career. Okay. Um, ooh, plan it out. It's time to get more serious. You need to plan it out. How do you plan it out? You write it out. Get a piece of paper. Get a notepad. Start writing the, the vision, the plan, the business plan If for some of you. But plan it out. You have it all 
you know, up in your head is a great thing, but we have how many thoughts a day, a minute, a second. So you've got to get it out. You've got to get it on paper, manifest, you know, spell it out, spell it out. So you're casting a spell with your words. So plan it out here. Get serious. You know, don't just talk about what you want to do. And you've got all these different ideas and you're just like a butterfly and you're fluttering around and I'm going to do this and I'm going to paint and then I'm going to be a, um, and then I'm going to be a, a nail technician and then I'm going to be a candle maker. And then I'm a bit, you know, plan it out, have a clear cut plan so the universe can say, okay, this is what we're doing and they can help you. But as, as much as you, you flutter around and things are just not planned out, you know, then you run your life, you know, you are the co-creator. So, you know, but um, if you want to see longevity, if you want to see something stick to the wall, plan it out. All right, let's see. Visibility. It's, it's safe to be you. Okay. It's safe to be me. So put yourself out there. Put your business out there. Put you what you have to offer to the world out there. Put your resume out there. Talk to people. Network. Uh, join groups. Visibility. People need to know what it is you are about and what it is you do soulmate client so your dream clients are in your heart and all you have to do is manifest them okay um they're waiting for you as you're waiting for them you know you have something to offer them um in your vibration once you start to get serious about what it is you're doing you get visible those people are going to be attracted to you okay because it's a soulmate client connection have you ever had somebody seek you out and whatever it is you do um they say you know i was just drawn to you i just i had to just come and talk to you or patronize you i just had to get over here you know so um that'll be that type of energy okay launch now is the time you need to launch this thing the universe has lined something up for you it's time to launch put it out there holding it back waiting rethinking overthinking scaling back writing it yeah You've got to launch, especially if some of you have already done the work in terms of, um, you know, planning it out, executing and all that stuff. When are you going to put it to the world? You've got to launch it. Yeah. The universe wants you to know that you are approved. You are enough. For some of you, you're like, okay, well, I don't have these credentials and I don't have that. And I don't have that. You are approved. You have enough Aquarius. You are enough. This is a really good reading. There's really no challenges here. None that, you know, you need to write home about. But um, Aquarius, if you feel like this reading resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments section. OK, um, the universe wants you to know that you are approved. Let's put some check marks down in the comment section. You are approved um, for that loan, for that job, for this business, whatever. You are approved, Aquarius. OK. So yeah, let's put some uh, check marks down in the comment section to let everybody know all the Aquarius, you are approved. Um, and if you want to bring in, usher in abundance, newness, contribute to the new moon money jar, um, any dollar amount, um, the link is below. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. Oh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night. 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i do a collective reading and you can ask questions thank you again bye guys